is up guys it is joe here from joe talks wrestling and today i am bringing you another fantasy booking video this time round, we are doing the demon finn balor versus the fiend let's get right into it okay so starting things off we are going back to current time right now what's going on in the world of wwe so obviously SummerSlam 2019 the fiend he uh he snapped his neck he brought him off TV. Uh, Balor's been gone for a while. He's on holiday right now. He's shaved his head. Um, he's just, you know, doing different things. It's, it's nice to see him finally relaxing. And there's been rumours that he was meant to be off for two months. I'm going to change those. Uh, obviously, apparently, he's been booked on the Australia Live tours. So, you know, hopefully just keep him off TV. I, this is what I want to happen, okay? So... Finn Balor does not return until the 2020 Royal Rumble. Bring him out as number 30, number 28, whatever. But it's not Finn Balor. It's the demon. There's no normal Finn Balor. It's just the demon that comes out in this Royal Rumble. So everyone's like, oh my God, the demon's back. So Demon Balor comes out, absolutely batters everyone, wins the Royal Rumble. Okay, so that's where we're going. Balor's winning the Royal Rumble. Now, going back in time once again to current day, The Fiend versus Seth Rollins at Hell in a Cell. Obviously, I can't predict what's going to happen because um, obviously we're getting a Universal Championship next week. Uh, but as it goes, Seth Rollins versus The Fiend in Hell in a Cell for the Universal Championship. The Fiend's going to win. Uh, the Fiend Bray Wyatt becomes Universal Champion. No hassle whatsoever. Beats Seth Rollins, batters him inside the Hell in a Cell, leaves Rollins a broken man. Um, and that's that's it for the story of Rollins. I don't know what happens to him after that. I haven't thought about him because, you know, he doesn't matter in this storyline. But then, obviously, we've got The Fiend as the Universal Champion. Then Bray Wyatt's just going to go on beating people over the next couple months. Obviously, we've only got uh, Survivor Series, TLC, I believe it's TLC this year, and then back to the Royal Rumble. The Fiend is going to be doing what he keeps doing and just beating everyone, taking out legends. He's not competing weekly on Raw, but he's there. Um, uh, he might have a one or two matches in between, but just keep The Fiend simple. You know, it, it ain't broke, so don't fix it. Just keep doing what you're doing. The Fiend is fantastic. So that happens. At the Royal Rumble, The Fiend faces someone. I don't care who. It's not going to matter. It could be Seth getting a rematch. He could be facing AJ anyone um it's not going to be too much of an important story because it's just a transitional story to get to the one with the uh finn balor so obviously balor wins the rumble we don't see him for a while uh he's there's these little vignettes playing we don't see normal balor we don't want you know e i'm finn balor yeah i'm gonna try and smile as hard as i can i'm not even getting used but i'm still happy we don't want that finn balor okay uh we just want you know the dark demon finn balor so Demon isn't going to come out a lot, but we're going to be getting backstage like vignettes and stuff. Uh, similar to what happened at Summer Sun 2016, where normal Balor was telling the story of the Demon. Stuff like that. Just make it clear that Balor wants the Fiend. Make it clear that when Balor lost at SummerSlam, he didn't just lose a match. He lost something. Part of him died that night. Literally make it very dramatic, very dark. Um, then obviously the Elimination Chamber, we're going to have The Fiend defending his Universal Championship even, uh, cause at this point, The Fiend will be defending his Universal Championship and the WWE Champion will be defending because the Royal Rumble winner still hasn't made his decision. We know it's going to be Wyatt. We know it's going to be Balor versus The Fiend, but there's no official decision. So both belts will be on the line for the first time in God knows how long. Um, and Bray's going to batter everyone in the head on the cell. Obviously, Bray Wyatt himself has been in the cell before. He's won the championship in the cell before. He won this right here, WWE Championship, in the 2017 Elimination Chamber. So he has experience. He's going to go in and walk out as the Universal Champion. So Bray is still champ. We're still going to be getting Firefly Funhouses. Everything's going as normal. Bray's destroying everyone. Um, and then after the match, the lights are going to go out. But it's not going to be like, you know, the demon. The lights are going to go out. Oh, Bray's sirens are going to play, whatever they are. The lighting's going to go out the exact same way the Fiend does when he attacks someone. The lights are going to come on. The Fiend is standing there in the middle of the ring, showing no fear whatsoever. He ain't scared. Turns around. Demon Balor's behind him. And Finn Balor is going to hit the 1916 on the Fiend Bray Wyatt. 
Not the coup de grace, because obviously he can't. Well, he's not going to hit him with a forearm or a drop kick. He's straight up going to grab him and hit him with a 1916. Stand there and hold up the Universal Championship. Bearing in mind, this is Demon Balor still. This isn't normal Balor, it's still the Demon. So, the stage is set, of course. WrestleMania 36, we have the Fiend Bray Wyatt defending his Universal Championship against the Demon Finn Balor. These two are going to be doing different things. They're going to be showing up in different places. We could do something where, I don't know, just popped into my head right now. Bala's family could be in attendance and Bray attacks his dad. You know, Bray attacks his brother. Something like that. Do you know, make it deep and personal. It's already deep and personal because of what happened at SummerSlam. But these two, they're, they're opening an entire new chapter. We don't want it to get boring and repetitive like their last feud. So, this is all being set up. We've got this big match there's not going to be a stipulation to it. It's just straight up going to be one-on-one -on -one at WrestleMania. I know The Fiend can do stuff like no disqualification to keep it dark, but we want to keep it simple. We want to keep it traditional. It's a one-on-one -on -one championship match to see who the better man's going to be at the end of the night. So the match comes to take place. We've got Bray Wyatt defending his championship. Finn Balor and Bray are going to batter each other. We're going to have... I, I, right, I'm a big fan of traditional wrestling. I feel like for the majority of the time, it should be one finisher ends the match. But obviously, WWE don't work like that anymore. And these two characters are supernatural. So I believe three Sister Abigails, three Coup de Gras, at least. You know, these two need to absolutely kill each other. We saw at a live event recently, Bray took three curb stomps and still beat Rollins with a mandible claw. Well, didn't beat him in a match, but, you know, beat him up. And... You know, we need to make it so these characters are like, we are, as an audience, we want to be on the edge of our seat the whole time. Another finisher. Oh my God, he kicked out. Surely a second one. No, he kicked out. Third. Oh my God, he kicked out. It's always the third that puts him down. So make sure this time it's the fourth. And we're going to end the match with a 1916 into a coup de grace. We want not a dominant victory, but a hard fought victory, a very hard fought victory by Finn Balor. And the demon Finn Balor will finally hold up the Universal Championship at WrestleMania, beating The Fiend. Now you're gonna be thinking, Joe, what about The Fiend? Like, what happens now? Well, if the gimmick is still over as it is right now, which I pretty much feel like it's gonna be, if they keep going the way they're going, People were loving it. Um, and I believe then what you can do is send Bray to SmackDown and have him do the Fiend stuff over there. Have him beat everyone over there and make him the WWE champion. Uh, like, you know what I mean? It's one of them. They can both be on separate shows and we've got the two supernatural beasts on top of the main roster. But I don't want this... Finn Balor to be coming back where it's just normal Finn. The way I want this to happen, and this is a very weird one. I don't know who the opponent's going to be, but I just want to let you guys know that like, this is what, obviously, the story's going to end with. While Balor's on Raw, where I feel like he should not be normal Balor. Every time he competes, he should be the demon. But I don't feel like he should be competing on weekly shows. If he's on weekly shows, he's wearing a suit, no face paint, he's normal Balor. But he doesn't compete. He's just there, obviously. Like, you know, if he has to fight someone, he has to fight someone. But every time he competes, which I want to be a special occasion. I want him to be there, but I want him to, you know, not be working 24-7. He should be the demon. But at the same time, we don't want to get the demon character being stale. That's why he only needs to compete every now and then, not every single week. But the way I think it should go on from there is whoever beats Balor for the Universal Championship... Say, I don't know, just it, a new up-and-coming star. I feel like they need to beat the demon paint off of him. So, although you're getting into, oh, well, this isn't a sport. This is why a lot of people are a fan of realistic wrestling. This isn't realistic wrestling right here. This is like the supernatural stuff. This is like the Undertaker sort of stuff. Whoever beats him, I feel like should have either water or should just literally be going at him so hard. We've seen when Balor competes as the demon, his face paint chips off. We want to chip off the majority of that paint. So the commentators are then putting it over. Oh my God, this isn't the demon Finn Balor anymore. This is just normal Finn Balor. The demon's been beaten out of him. And then whoever beats him and wins the Universal Championship from him has beaten normal Balor, not the demon. So you're still somewhat protecting the demon. 
And then obviously you can do stuff with Balor, uh, keep him off TV for a bit, put him in an angle, make him the leader of the OC. He absolutely kills AJ Styles, the OC, then go with, you know, Finn Balor. There's so many possibilities to come out of it. But once again, just to reiterate the main points, my fantasy booking, Balor wins the Rumble as the Demon in his return. Balor beats Bray Wyatt at WrestleMania for the Universal Championship. That's my fantasy booking for The Fiend versus Demon Balor. I hope you did like it. Please be sure to give this video a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.